The Comica VM30 is a supercardioid wireless shotgun microphone, which means you can use it on its own like a normal shotgun microphone, or you can use it as a wireless microphone system. It's got an auto power on and auto power off feature, which means that when you turn on your camera, the microphone will power on as well. And then when you switch your camera off, then the microphone will go off as well. So you don't have to worry about beginning to record and the microphone not being on because you've forgotten to switch it on or just leaving the microphone on once you've finished and then realizing the battery is completely depleted when you come to use it next time. And in terms of the battery life, if you're using it like a normal wired shotgun microphone then you're going to get up to 50 hours of battery and if you're using it as a wireless system then you'll get up to seven hours of battery and one of the really good features is the fact that you can actually charge it up whilst you're using the microphone so if you're podcasting or live streaming then you can actually keep it charged whilst you're doing that so in terms of sound quality i've now switched over to the vm30 so before i was using the rode ntg4 plus and then that was plugged into the zoom f6 recorded into the zoom f6 and so now this audio is coming straight from the comica vm30 which is plugged into my my Sony a7S III so that you could just hear the difference between the two. So as I mentioned earlier, the Comica VM30 has a super cardioid pattern and it has a sample rate of 48 kilohertz and a bit depth of 24. It's got both a digital and an analog output, so it's compatible with cameras, smartphones, and computers. So you can literally use it for loads of different scenarios, whether that's podcasting, live streaming, vlogging, interviews, loads of different scenarios that it can be used in. So it's also got a gain control on both the receiver and the microphone. So with the receiver, you can get a 12 level adjustment gain. And with the microphone itself, you can get a 10 level adjustment gain. It's also got a safety track mode. So if you feel like your audio clips at any point, then you've got a second channel where potentially you'll be able to recover that audio. You can also monitor your audio in real time as well. So if you were recording somebody and you were doing an interview, then you can plug it into the receiver and then you can get that audio in real time. Likewise, if you have a camera that just doesn't have a headphone port, then again, you can just use the receiver and monitor your audio that way. I thought I'd just come out quickly and test what the audio sounds like because it's quite a windy day today so I just wanted to hear how the audio sounds outdoors and um, I've got the foam windshield and also the, fur the furry windshield and I guess I might as well tell you what else you get in the box so as well as the microphone and the wireless receiver you also get a two-in-one charging and output cable a 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS cable a 3.5 millimeter TRRS to TRRS cable a shock mount a mic clip like I said, the foam windshield, the furry windshield, you get a pin, a carry case, which is really handy, and the user manual and a warranty card. So I've just taken the VM30 off because I want to hear what the audio sounds like in comparison to the MKE400, so the Sennheiser MKE400, because that's a microphone that I tend to use quite a lot when I'm vlogging outdoors. So I just wanted to get an idea of how they both sound in comparison to each other. So yeah, this is the Sennheiser MKE400, and what you heard earlier was this Comica VM30. So listening back to that audio, I wasn't quite expecting that. I didn't expect the microphone to sound bad for any reason, but I didn't expect it to sound that good. It just, it sounds awesome. Especially when you put it next to the Rode NTG4 Plus and then the Sennheiser MKE400. The NTG4 Plus is more expensive. The Sennheiser MKE, MKE200, 400, sorry, is roughly the same price or maybe a bit more, I can't remember. But if you wanted a solution where you weren't gonna have to record your audio separately and you wanted something which sounded just amazing, straight into the camera, no faffing around with syncing up audio files and whatnot, then this mic is definitely something to consider because honestly, I mean, you heard it, it sounds amazing. So yeah, that is the VM30. I've dropped a link in the description so you can check it out more and get your hands on one if you want to. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you found the video useful, do give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel. Thanks for watching and catch you guys on the next one. Bye.